going on guys it's who's of doom and this video is about the warhammer youtubers end of year awards um where different content producers and member members of the community can nominate channels for different categories and then uh, people vote on them for which is the best um now for me this has always kind of raised the question when people say warhammer youtubers are they referring to uh the google plus group um, or are they simply referring to just anyone that produces Warhammer content on YouTube? Um, there's always kind of a... I'm never quite sure how, how that's really working. Um, but in any case, if you're not a member of the Warhammer YouTubers Google Plus group, we should totally check that out. There's 1,200 members. Um, they're not all content producers, um, but quite a bit of them are and uh, they post regular content. It's a good kind of a way to kind of uh, meet other members of the community and discuss different topics. They're also on Facebook as well, so you can find them there. It's kind of a private group, but you can you can find it. So um, to me, uh, the other question with this is, is it purely fantasy related? Uh, or can you nominate uh, science fiction channels or, or 40K channels, I should say? Um, I don't really know. I, 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 again, people generally say, Warhammer refers to fantasy. That's not quite how I understand. When I say Warhammer, I mean like the broader brands of Games Workshop as opposed to specifically one or the other. Um, so I'm not really sure, but I do think, uh, I do know that anyone can vote. Um, so if you do watch any of these channels or you want to vote, please feel free to do so. I'll probably, um, maybe I'll make a little video later when they actually get to, because uh, next week, is um, once the categories and uh, channels have all been nominated, then I think the voting link will be available. So maybe I'll post a post a thing there um, if I'm nominated, but I probably won't be. So who knows, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, I do think part of the problem this year, especially, and, and I guess some to some extent last year as well, is that we're kind of a conglomerated community. And uh, that has definitely perks. There's definitely uh, huge benefits to having a community that's composed of AOS and Ninth Age. Uh, but for purposes of voting, I think it's a little, little bit on like party lines. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that, um, a lot of Age of Sigmar people that probably just purely watch Age of Sigmar channels and uh, Ninth Age uh, players as well that only watch Ninth Age players as well, or channels. And so that can make uh, the nominations and the voting, I think, a little bit skewed because uh, if you're not, you know, when it comes to who's the best a battle reporter, if you're not legitimately looking at different styles and trying to make a judgment objectively, uh, if you're just voting for like the Age of Sigmar battle reporters, it's, well, I, mean, I guess that's how democracy works in general. <laughs> but anyways, um... And the other thing that's a bit weird this year, uh, now last year, Vince Venturella, um, who's one of the uh, people that put, you know, uh, 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 put on this event, took himself out of the running. And probably for good reason. Uh, don't get me wrong, he, he got like, um, I think he got like a certificate of, like, of c community appreciation or something. Um, and he's obviously... Um, He's like the owner of the Google Plus group, and uh, he's obviously a, a very vocal member of the community. Now, for good reason. I mean, the, the guy is well-deserved. Um, and he probably took himself out because he was probably going to win a number of the categories. Um, and to be honest, I think that's going to happen this year, too. Um, I'm going to nominate him for four different categories. Now, it's not just all just me being his friend. Uh, I think there are legitimate logical reasons for why he's a major contender in these categories. And obviously, I'm not going to nominate myself. That would be far too vain. <laughs> so I've stuck to primarily fantasy uh, channels. Uh, un that's my understanding of, of basically the, how this is operating. Um, because the Warhammer YouTubers uh, Google Plus group doesn't have a huge amount of 40k content producers. Uh, and we don't have a lot of... Um, like I, you know, I watch a lot of uh, 40k YouTube, but I, it's not like I'm personal friends of many of the the bigger names in that in that sphere. So, best battle reporter. This is kind of a you know, it's a hard issue. Uh, there are a lot of really good ones. Uh, Doom and Darkness definitely, you know, puts out um, 
some good, good battle reports uh, when he's able to. Uh, now that he's working, he's he's not on there as much as he as I think he would like to be or could do. Um, I'm gonna have to just say tabletop minis though is probably my nomination for that category. Um, they're just such a good group of guys, um, and their battle reports are fairly relaxed. Um, they're one of the few AOS to actually do their battle battle reports uh, with like a camcorder. Uh, in real time, as opposed to uh, st- uh, still photos, um, and I think that they just produce. I mean, the, it's high quality production. Um, like I said, I like the fact that they're very relaxed. They often kind of engage a little bit of banter with each other. You know, if the person rolls really bad, the other guys are usually having a good laugh, um, which I kind of like. That's 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 how I like to play the game. Um, for best AOS content, this was another difficult one. I'm going to have to give it to Vince Venturella, though. Um, not every um, video he does is definitely Age of Sigmar related, but they're all very um, very well done. He's put a lot of time and energy into making sure that they are uh, interesting and um you know, Warhammer Weekly, it's really tough to kind of argue with that, in my opinion, when you're going, you know, an hour and a half or two hours a week. Um, like I said, they're not all devoted towards Age of Sigmar, but the majority of them are. And uh, that's that's a good a good video that I always watch. Like, that's that's probably number one on my watch list every single week. And it's a great, a great series. So I can't argue against that whatsoever. Uh, best ninth age content. I don't watch a lot of ninth age videos. I do subscribe to a lot of the channels. Um, the ones I have watched though are from Once Bitten, um, mostly because he's a very common, r- rational kind of guy, very logical, uh, that talks about why the changes are being made to ninth edition, which I find interesting. Um, and uh, so I would I would nominate him for those, which I that's probably. My biggest exposure to Ninth Age content, but I do find it pretty interesting as well. Best hobby advice, uh, Vince Venturella. <laughs> uh, you know, his hobby uh, uh, cheating videos are really good, uh, and I think he's at like f- high fifties in that series. And it's only been like the past year. I mean, the guy puts out one or two of these a week. Uh, he also does product reviews on different paints and 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 hobby related supplies. Um, again, I don't think you can beat that that category for him. Most thought prevent not, most thought provoking content. I really thought about this. Um, <laughs> I I like to think that some of my content is somewhat thought provoking, um, but you know if I were to look at what other people are doing. Um, I'm going to have to go with Vince again. Uh, the topic of the week is a great series. puts out every single week. It's on a variety of different do- topics. Every single week's different. I don't know how much longer he can keep it up um, <laughs> uh, without repeating topics eventually. Uh, but, you know, he always gets a bunch of comments, uh, responses, uh, plus members of the community usually make, like, videos in response. Um Every single week, so you, you can't beat that. Uh, you know, some of my videos I like that I like to think are pretty thought provoking. I'm lucky to get a half dozen comments or something. So, in terms of magnitude, uh, Vince definitely kind of is a, a good contender for that category. And then most consistent, Vince again. Um, <laughs> no, I mean I, again, you know, between Warhammer Weekly, which is once a week. Um, between the topic of the week, which is once a week, and then um, his hobby uh, cheating series, which is at least uh, at least once a week, he's putting out probably between three and half a dozen videos every single week. He's putting out a ton of content. Um, the guy has no no life whatsoever. He just you know paints and makes videos, um, <laughs> but. 
I, again, I, I can't I can't fault the guy. I mean, I, I think his channel's only been around seven months or so longer than mine, and he's produced like three times the content. So I mean, he puts out a lot. Um, best new series. I had a hard time with this category because I don't really know. Um, there are s some good continuing series, but they've been around, you know, over the past year. They're not necessarily new to this year. Some of the others that I've seen other people nominate, I haven't watched, so I can't quite speak to that. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm going to just pull myself out of this category and not nominate. I was actually thinking Tabletop Tactics. Um, if only because they're a big channel for 40k, a big uh, battle report channel, and they just started to do Age of Sigmar um, battle reports. And they produce top quality stuff, I uh, really enjoy their, their videos, and I think that they're going to do really well. And I think th a good sign of AOS, uh, the longevity, the, the, you know, the, whether or not the game's going to be around for a while, uh, and whether it'll be a, 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 a marketable kind of game, the the addition of the 40k big channels kind of using AOS and, and bringing it into their content is a good sign that it's uh, that it will be around for some time, and that uh, it's an interesting game. Um, so that's what I was thinking, but it's not really a new series, so I can't like he already does battle reports. So maybe, I don't know. I would say I'm going to not nominate anyone for that category. Plus, I said I wasn't going to do a 40K channel on this anyway. <laughs> but anyways, um, and I have no problems against 40K. I love 40K. <laughs> um, and Best Painted. I'm not going to give this to Vince, all right? Vince produces some great stuff. I, I would, you know, if, if he wasn't already nominated, if I hadn't nominated him for like half of the <laughs> categories already, uh, I would definitely consider him. Uh, but I'm going to give it to Mickey Jenver. Um, you know, she's produced a few videos. Uh, she's not a huge uh, YouTuber in terms of content producing, but she's a very active member of the community, uh, comments on a lot of videos, and is always kind of, a, a, you know, very active in the PMP or Painters Motivating Painters Google Plus group, which is kind of associated with Warhammer YouTubers. And um, she paints amazing stuff. Um so I would either do like the Glotkin. I think that was this year. I'd probably do her with Glotkin. Looks great. Mind-boggling. And then I'm going to skip best conversion. For the simple reason is I don't really know. I don't watch a lot of channels that focus on conversions. I haven't seen a lot. I know Merrick Wolf, I think, won this category last year. Um... But I haven't seen, I haven't been super active in the PMP for the last six months, so I haven't really seen what people are really doing. Um, and so I can't quite knowledgeably announce or nominate anyone for that category. And then, of course, there's best overall, which is just um, whoever gets the overall largest amount of votes across all the different categories. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Uh, the actual. Um, nominations will be um, recognized and put forward I guess next weekend and so um, we'll see uh, what happens when the voting begins and who's in each category so thanks for tuning in and have a good one